Good morning. Good morning. I'm Aiden. That's my tea. Hi, I'm Christine. It's over there. <laughs> Where's my tea? I'm Aiden. Uh, That's Christine. Yep, we're Friction Farm. Thank you for I'm glad you're here. Joining us for Levenses with Friction Farm. We are back home, back in the kitchen. It was nice to be home. Again. In a crazy week. It's been a crazy week. Yeah. <sighs> so how are y'all? Good, I hope. Good, I hope. It's autumn here. It's cold. Feeling very English. Yeah. I mean, it's not cold. It's like 50-something degrees out. But, you know, it feels cold. It feels like it was has been warmer. And that air has the lovely crispness that fall does, even though it's still wicked humid here, but still. It feels different. The air feels different. Yep. Uh, and what else? And what else? Uh, we've had dishwasher drama. We ordered a new dishwasher. It's in the living room. It's right there. It showed up, and um, it was just, like, dented beyond all belief. Like, I think it just fell off the truck or something, and then they went, oh, oops, and put it back. I mean, it's really... Crazy. Mangled would be the word Mangled. I use. And and so we called and said, oh, you need to come pick this up and, and get us a new one. Uh, and they said, oh, well, um, we don't have that model anymore, so we can't replace it. We'll just refund your money. It was on sale, and so now it's not. Hello, new models are not. But then also, um, they couldn't come get it for like 10 days. So there it sits in our living room. Yeah, as if we didn't know we were hillbillies. Dishwasher in the living room. <laughs> Phil Stone says the dishwasher is next to you. <laughs> no, that's a toast. That's a toaster oven, Phil. <laughs> yeah, we we both been doing our fair share of that. So, quite frankly, we've been doing doing dishes for a long time. Yes. we haven't had a dishwasher for a long time. Yeah, we waited to tell our tale, and we were finally going to get it. Damn it! All right, so let's see what else is going on. The world is falling apart yet again. Yes. Yet again, still, whatever. I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand. I don't understand. I was um, reading something from my friend Louisa, who had posted it on Facebook, sort of saying she doesn't, uh, yeah, she felt like she needed to dive into the history over there in the Middle East to, to get a better understanding. And I'm thinking, for me, personally, no amount of history, no amount of historical knowledge could explain to me how that could be, ha what is happening over there could be happening over there. Nope. No amount of history. But it's just crazy. Yeah. So we're going to do a song about um, people being rotten and horrible to each other. Not really. I mean, kind of. Um, for those of us who have seen us a zillion times, which is probably all y'all, um, there's a book called The Cellist of Sarajevo, of which we are both huge fans. If you've never read it, it's by Stephen Galloway, and I have been recommending it for 10 years or so. And it takes place in um, Sarajevo, obviously, uh, during the Civil War in Bosnia. And it follows these three people around town as they live their lives and do things like um, get water, because the water's off and they have to go to public wells to get it. Or go to work at a bakery to provide bread that people need, but you risk your own life getting there because there's snipers on rooftops around the city. And also one of the characters is um, an assassin. You know, as people are. But it's a really interesting study about how people sort of break down their moral and ethical code and figure out who they are and what they have to do. And having never been in that situation, and I think most people in this country are never in that sort of um, situation, it's interesting to figure out who we might be. And I think if we figure out who we might be, we might take steps to be that person even when our situation isn't quite that dire. My head is moving weird because my scarf is caught in my hair and it pulls when I move my head. Uh, 
Sorry, just just an aside there. Good morning, Andy. Nice to see you live. But you don't have a fridge in your front yard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Julie, you know, Julie you know. still does. Does she? <laughs> All right. Boo, I don't know if that's a Halloween thing or not. Maybe. She said, I have, I have a fridge in my front yard. Boo. <laughs> Shall we? Sure. You have a harmonica? Um, no, nor am I going to get it. So okay. there you go. Breakers and thieving dream takers. 
peacemaker. You're right, Laura Sue. War never fixes anything. Ever. Hmm. I was just thinking as we were singing at that um, bread baker's that um, on Saturday morning we were with some friends and uh, our friend Phil had baked bread, which is delightful. It was, I mean, we saw him at nine. He, he had already baked it that morning. So he it was, was up early. Hot. It was warm, yeah. So, um, and as we were all leaving, he gave us like the, the half loaf of bread that was left. He just handed it to us. And he did not, nor did we know what was in store for us as we um, uh, spent the next couple of days in the car. Uh, but it was amazing to have that bread with us because we just could have some sandwiches and uh, and uh, not have to stop at, at horrible fast food places. It so, was quite, 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 quite delightful, yeah. Bill. I don't know where the tea came from. I don't know. So. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. But he didn't even know. So, so today's snack um, <clears throat> is an English muffin with homemade apple chutney and cheddar cheese. So, English muffins. Uh, we have that apple tree out back that's kind of an unknown, unidentified, who knows what you are sort of apple tree. It's green, green apples, kind of tart, um, medium sized, dull looking skin. I don't know. Anyway, they're good cooking apples. Isn't that a song that goes, God didn't make little green apples? I don't know. Wouldn't have... just popped into my head. My father would know that, right? He's wouldn't probably have, watching. Wouldn't have God have made them? But I don't know. He... That's, that's that's odd. I'm not sure how the line goes. But I always thought it was God didn't make little green apples, and it don't rain in Indianapolis. <laughs> okay, that know. is not a song that was worth knowing. I don't think based based on that little bit. But also maybe you've gotten the lyrics wrong. <laughs> Entirely <laughs> that possible. Happens, right? Okay, so. Uh, Chutney, and then sharp English cheddar. I think I hear something beeping somewhere in our lives, but whatever. Oh, it's the refrigerator. It's always the refrigerator. All right. So, and then, it's it's raining. and then into the um, oven, the toaster oven, little little broiler there, so that the cheese melts. And look, through the magic of television, I've already done some in advance. So there we so go. So you can pick it up with your hand. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Are you going to swap out? <clears throat> I am, and I'm going to put these in the oven, and they'll get all melty and delightful, but you know. English this muffin is... with homemade apple raisin chutney and sharp English chutney. Delightful. Maybe. You haven't even eaten it yet. You've had the chutney already. I've got it on my hands now. Uh, how is it? Good? It is good. Making you talk with your mouth full. We have something else. Um, yesterday, we got back and walked out into the garden and were shocked to find that the watermelon is, is still growing. It's October. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I think I told you all about this watermelon. It's got a lot of seeds. Just tip the watermelon, not the plate. Tip the watermelon, not the plate. There you go. Lots of seeds. Turns mm. out, though, it's really tasty. It's pretty tasty. Who knew? Who knew? Well, we did because we've had one before. I mean, well, we had one before, and it wasn't quite as tasty as this one. Mm. I'm not sure why. Yeah. So we have a couple of, of watermelon, and so ends the um, summer garden. I've got peas and carrots planted. Also, I would say I had cabbage, but aphids, I think, ate it. I mean, like entirely, like just not where they all gone. Mm. Anyway, so we'll have some carrots and some peas. Hi, Barry Kassendorf. Gonna see you soon up in. When you say it's right, it's gone. It just went. It was in, here in, um, in Massachusetts. If if uh, anybody watching is in uh, New England, we'll be there next week. Good freaking god, next week. Okay. What day is today? Thursday. Yeah. So. Uh, Tomorrow. No, Saturday. <laughs> Tomorrow. Week from Saturday. So anyway, we'll be in uh, Massachusetts Sunday. on Saturday and Sunday. We'll be in um, Vermont and New Hampshire at some point after that, you know. So check out our our website or or what have you. Or actually, actually at the top of the um, 
Friction Farm Facebook page, I think. I've got at least dates and locations. Ta-da. Join us up there in New England for live music with Friction Farm. Where we'll be doing our elevenses. Huh. Hmm. Where? Where we will be. <laughs> up there, somewhere. Up there, somewhere. You'll have to tune in to find out. So. Yes, hmm. I really like my torts at Roadie Mug. I planned it. I think it obliges you to haul some chairs and stuff, though. <laughs> okay. So, I don't know. Anything else you have to talk about? Um, life is short. Get out and enjoy it. We won't be here waste your time. for um, Halloween. I don't know if we get kids because this is our first Halloween here and we won't be here. We'll find out. We'll ask Mary. She'll know. So sad, though. Like, Your house is going to get egged. <laughs> yeah. No, eggs are too expensive for that these days. <laughs> oh, yeah, interesting. Uh, Probably everything's too expensive for that these days. No, nah, really. We'll get covered with the, the blow leaves into our lawn. Or... <laughs> Not would we, we lawn. notice? Yeah, would we notice? Yeah. So, yes, the lawn is something that's kind of on the agenda for for the next couple days. The odd thing is, if I'd cut the lawn before we left, I feel like it would have been it. For it would have been it for the season because it seems like it's done. Like it's it, all the grass is just suddenly brown and dry. But now it's really long and brown and dry, which is going to be a problem. Maybe I don't know. I would like it all to die, please. I don't, I'm not enjoying the grass. I'm, I'm slowly doing grass eradication and planting other things. Ooh. We had um, swamp asters, I'm going to call them. They're probably not a southern thing, that's an order thing, but whatever. The little the little white and yellow asters um, that were covered in bees before we left, and monarchs. So the monarchs are mi migrating over here. And uh, we know lots of uh, people who have uh, wildflowers in their yards. Did you, did you tell Ed and Melody about the fantastic Mexican sunflower array that popped up? Yeah, except that's not what they are. Whatever. That's what the package said. That's what the package said, but that's not what the flowers are. Fantastic flowers that they're, stand I think they're zinnias. They're probably related. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, they're fantastic. No, I didn't tell them, but I will. The gift of seeds. you got to love friends who give you the gift of seeds. Yeah. All right, so well, thanks, we're, just, we're just babbling on and I'm not eating my snacks. Nice so. to see you um, again this week. Um, we'll see you again next week for Elevens' A Song and a Snack. In the meantime, we're going to have some, some cheddar chutney and crispy English muffin. I'm Aiden. That's Christine. Thanks for joining us. We shall see you next week. Bye, y'all.